Welcome to Mission Beach in San Diego, California. And here, I am here for one reason today, and that is to check out Thelma Amusement Park. This has probably been on my radar for six plus years, as it is one of the oldest and most historic amusement parks in the world, dating back to 1925. I'm gonna head into the park now, check it out, and let you guys know if it's worth the visit when you're in San Diego. The pricing system at Belmont is very similar to most other boardwalk parks. Admission is 100% free and you only have to pay for what you're actually riding. If you just want to ride the Giant Dipper roller coaster once, get the credit and be out, it's only going to cost you $10 and if you want two rides, you can do it for $16. An all day rides pass is going to cost you $60 unless you're under 48 inches where then it's a $5 off discount. It is good to note that if you want to save some time at the park, you can buy tickets online and it's going to be exactly the same cost. So it's probably a good idea if you know what you want to do in advance to just grab those online and have them ready to go when you're at the park. No waiting necessary. Now time to hear about what you've all probably been waiting for, the Giant Dipper roller coaster. just got off of Giant Dipper for the first time ever. Second back row, which was insane. There's no actual clicks all the way down. It's just one level lap bar and no seat belts or nothing. So you gotta be ready for some crazy airtime in the back. If you're trying to avoid that roughness, definitely try and sit towards the middle to front. But if you're all in for that ejector airtime, head right to the back. There is a ton of fair rides, but they're more aimed to family and specifically younger kids, so I didn't really check them out. If you want to learn more about that, you can see all the rides and attractions on the Belmont Park website. Inside the park, there are a few places that you can eat, but I'm going to be honest, you probably don't want to eat inside the park. It's all that fried boardwalk park food you would expect. If that's something you're into, then great. If not, Right behind me, there are a ton of food options across from the parking lot that are a little bit more authentic and probably better for you. So if you're not interested in any of the food that they have inside the actual park, right across the street, you can go and get some food over there. And that is gonna be a wrap on my time at Belmont Park here on Mission Beach in San Diego, California. It was a great time, definitely something that you can check out just for a couple hours either in the morning or say you're at a bigger attraction like SeaWorld San Diego during the day, you can head there for a few hours at night. It's really not too much of a time commitment. And if you're like me, it's cool that you can only pay for what attractions you wanna to go to if you're not really intending on going on all the typical fair rides and you just wanna ride the Big Dipper. If you're headed out to California soon and wanna see a playlist of all the best things to do, click it right here. And if you want to see another video that YouTube's recommending to you, that I made of course, click right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy travels.